So guys, get ready for some big games coming up in this episode. The first one is against Arsenal and currently Arsenal are 5th in the league and we are 3rd in the league. We have 7 points from our first 3 games and just look at that graphic. Bruno and Odegaard up against each other. It's gonna be a cracking game. So these are our changes for the game and we're gonna be looking to rotate the squad. Renato Sanchez comes in because he was so good in the last few games that we have been playing and we just cannot drop him in that so in that sort of form so we are about to get into this match and this is what Eric Denag has to say before the match so he says that Arsenal are in form and we do not have to let them keep the ball because they are very good at keeping the ball and working it around under Arteta and we have to focus on our attacking and defensive positioning because that has been letting us down in recent games but anyways we are here at the home of Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium and it's United against Arsenal and let's see how this one goes so the first chance to be created by Man United here's Renato Sanchez and a brilliant save by Aaron Ramsdale once again United on the attack Renato Sanchez once again on to Ronaldo once again a brilliant save by Aaron Ramsdale here's Saka Passes it down into the middle. Brilliant work by Arsenal. A brilliant work. And here's Saka once again. Saka started it. Saka finishes it. That's sensational football. And that's exactly what we were talking about. We do not have to let them play like this. And here they come again. Arsenal to make it 2-0. And they do. Right on the cusp of halftime. And it's two minutes up. But the referee didn't blow the whistle and it's 2-0 to Arsenal. Another chance could be on for Arsenal. Saka, this time De Gea forced to make a save and he does it brilliantly. And we gave Van der Beek a chance and he didn't do anything. In fact, he was very poor so we bring on Bruno. And here's Bruno passing it on to Ronaldo Cabreras. Here's Cabreras. Delivers in the ball. And here's Bruno Fernandes. And once again, the one who started it is the one on the finishing end of it. It's 2-1 to Man United. It's 2-1 and let's see if they can mount a comeback. But that's all for this game and this game finishes 2-1. And we lose this game after a pretty terrible performance I would say. We were not the better team in this game. And De Gea was pretty crucial in letting his team down and he couldn't save any anything in this game really apart from a few lapses we were good but these are the champions league groups and we are not in group d this is the group and let's see group e no we're not in group e and we're in group f with milan monaco and a team that i do not know how to name how to pronounce the name so these are the champions league groups and we have a pretty tough group on our hands it isn't an easy group considering that uh, Monaco are on the rise with Fofana and Chuameni and all that. So our first game is against AC Milan who are about to win the Scudetto. But this is the uh, instru instructions by Eric Ten Hag and he says that we have to get crosses into the box. We have to stay wide and stretch the pitch horizontally and vertically and we have to go for the killing of the game and we don't have to sit back recently we have been sitting back a lot and looking for the counter attacks but this game has to be different and we should be the dominant force in this one now the first corner for manchester united and stefan de Vrij and stefan de Vrij scores on his champions league debut for man united what a header by the number two and it's one nail to man united a brilliant header and they have taken the lead now Milan coming forward a brilliant ball played through and a cross comes in and Hoge and he scores De Gea once again or is it Henderson I think it's Henderson we took off De Gea but anyways that's a costly mis mistake by the keeper and he could save it but that was a good header and now here we come with Marcus Rashford and the header once again the same kind of header in the same kind of position the same corner just the other side of the pitch it's 2-1 to Man United 
A brilliant display and a brilliant classic Champions League game up till now. And now here's Salim Akers. Passes it on. Brilliant football this. And Henderson with a save. He had to make the tough save, but he did. And now Man United once again on the attack. Here's Alex Telles. Telles passes it on. And Ronaldo. Right place, right time. 3 1 to Man United. A brilliant finish and he had to make it you can't call it a tap in but you can't take anything away from the build-up play and a brilliantly developed goal by United and now we are going to make some substitutions so let's see what to do maybe just bring on Martial he hasn't been getting any game time whatsoever so I need to test him to know if he's any good or not I didn't test him because of the low low work rates that he has and also we're gonna be bringing on Elanga let's see what he can do now here's Martial he has his point to prove Renato Sanchez who has proven his point and Martial Martial what a finish what a brilliant finish that is oh my god maybe he does deserve a start Tony the Tiger a brilliant finish what a cross first time volley I mean, I don't remember Ronaldo scoring any goal like that in, in the save. Anyways, a brilliant victory for us. 4-1 against AC Milan. And the top side in Italy was nothing against this around 4th side in England. And now we move on to the, into the big one which is the Manchester Derby. So El Boldigo as they call it. And we are ready for this one after a brilliant win in the last game as you guys just saw and so let's just see what to do with the lineup Renato Sanchez obviously gonna come in he has been so good in the season and maybe I think the hair should be taken off or let me see hmm I think that's it I think those are the changes we're gonna make and let's beat them or at least try to get a draw so we have to be ready for the counter attacks and be aware of De Bruyne and close him down whenever possible as quickly as possible and stay focused while defending because just one pass and Manchester City can destroy you. So we are here at the theatre of dreams at Old Trafford on a rainy day in Manchester for the derby of Manchester and the game has kicked off. Here is Raheem Sterling, here's De Bruyne and Phil Foden and De Gea makes the save, the first shot on target from Manchester City. And here's Bernardo Silva onto Rodri. Phil Foden, Phil Foden, that is sensational, that is absolutely brilliant, what a finish, take a bow. Top corner, no chance for De Gea. And Phil Foden with his first goal. And now we are trying to score our first goal of this game. Here's Ronaldo. Ronaldo. On to Rashford. Back to Ronaldo. Bruno. Bruno makes it 1-1. And I didn't think that it would be that easy. But we did manage to score. I thought Ederson would be saving that. But he didn't. And we are not complaining though. Oh, that was a very good finish. I don't think Ederson would have saved that. A brilliant finish by Bruno and we're back into this game. 48 minutes in. Here is Rashford. Passes it on to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw on to Ronaldo and this time Ederson makes the save. And now here's Ronaldo once again. Ronaldo on to Rashford. And Rashford has what? What was that? Like, I'm still in shock. The game has ended and it's 1 1. And we are kind of struggling in the league. And we should have been going for the title. But that's not looking like the case. But I'm still in shock. Like, I mean, for me, that's clear cut scripting. Like, I can't even speak. I'm still in shock. But, anyways, we're gonna get this EFL Cup game out of the out of the way. And you know after what just happened like this never happens in FIFA I never saw this in FIFA like your players threw one-on-one -on -one, and then he just gets he just gets pushed 
and I don't even think that it was a push but I don't know what was it anyways oh oh wow what a win what a win 5-0 Ronaldo scoring 4 that's brilliant and <laughs> Liverpool once again seriously man I'm not gonna be playing this game in this episode and this is gonna be in the next episode and until then this will be all for today if you liked it hit that like button subscribe to the channel and bye for now